Hey guys, it's Valerie. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hey, what's up? Um, today's video is going to be a newbie booktube tag. I didn't know that this was a thing. I randomly thought like there has to be like a get to know me, I'm new to this book world type of tag. So I looked it up and there is. It's called the booktube newbie tag. Um, I did not check and see how many questions. Oh, it's only 10 questions. So I'm just gonna answer these 10 questions, kinda tell you guys a little bit more about me, what my channel is gonna be looking like from here on out, and etc. So hi, if you are new here, my name is Valerie. Um, I have been on YouTube, ooh, for 11 years now, but I have gone on very long hiatuses in the past. I have talked about why, and all that in previous videos but now I'm here and I have found my love for reading in the middle of 2023 I discovered my love for reading through the series Akatar, um, A Court of Thorns and Roses yeah there's my little introduction before we get started so <laughs> let's just hop right into it question number one why did you start this channel so I started this channel obviously originally I started it 11 years ago it was for beauty for fun for lifestyle stuff just I don't know I was 15 doing what every 15 year old had a YouTube channel was doing but now um, I'm gonna answer this question as in like why did I kind of change it into a booktube channel that would be obviously because I love reading and I love it so much to the point where it's literally all I spend my time doing I taught myself how to book bind um, and I'm obsessed with that. I've made like 13 books already in the last like two months And it's just something I'm really really passionate about so when I discovered that there's a whole community on YouTube that I had no idea about I was like, all right Question number two, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to YouTube? Okay, well the one I'm most excited for is definitely book binding videos. I'm going to be making a lot of those um, those are very hard to edit and hard to film, so they're not going to be like constant videos because, like I said, they're very tedious to film. So you will be getting a lot of those, but, you know, quality over quantity, okay? So yeah, I'm really excited for my crafty videos, my bookish stuff, like bookbinding. Um, I've made a couple t-shirts in the past, some bookish t-shirts. I can make some videos on how to do that. Yeah, I'm very, very excited for mostly crafty stuff. I love all things crafty, books, art. Like, I love it all. Give me all of it. Question three, what are you most excited for about your channel? Um, I am most excited to meet other people through this platform who also love books as much as I do. I have obviously met a lot of people through YouTube and through other social media. Like I said, I've been on this platform for a very long time, but I'm very excited that I finally found my niche and a community that I fit into and that I feel welcomed in and a part of. And I'm so excited to be here and meet more people. I've already met a lot of people through TikTok. If you don't follow me on my TikTok, I'll put it right here. Um, I have a whole book talk account. And I met a lot of amazing friends through that. And so I'm so excited to grow that aspect of, you know, growing my channels and my accounts or whatever to meet more people and to share things like my love for book finding and my love for books and blah, 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 blah. I put way too much creamer in this. And I already have a stomach ache. Oh well. Question number four, why do you love reading? Mm. I love reading because it is a perfect escapism. I love that I can just, you know, open a book and boom, my brain turns off. I'm in another world. I'm surrounded by these people. I don't know anything that's going on out here. And I love that. Sometimes you need that. Sometimes you need that escape from reality. And sometimes it is really hard to find that. I know a lot of people find it through music. That is also another way that I find my escapism. Um, but reading is also just a really, really good way to distract yourself, get out of your head a little bit, relax, unwind. How could you not love it? Nah! Question number five. What book series got you into reading? All right, let me take her out. Oh, my baby. A Court of Thorns and Roses. This is the one that I rebound myself. Um, it's kind of hard to see because of the ring light. Um... But A Court of Thorns and Roses, this series, you guys, this series is my life. It completely changed my life. It's what got me into reading. And the thing is, I have tried to get into reading so many times in the past, especially throughout high school. I always wanted to be that girl that was in the library all the time, just with her face in all of her books, so smart, so cute. Like, 
I wanted to be Belle from Beauty and the Beast, right? Oblivious to everything that's going on around her, just da 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 da, -da, -da in my books. I wanted that. Why couldn't I have that? Why isn't it focusing? I just didn't like books. I couldn't get into it. I would like read a whole page and then be like, wait, what did I just read? Like, I read it. I read every single word, but it didn't process. So that would literally be me with any book until I finally, finally, <laughs> finally found her. And I found a genre that I actually like and that I actually want to read. If you're someone that like wants to get into reading, but you just can't, you really just have to find that book or that series, that genre that sticks with you and that actually makes you want to keep reading, that makes you not want to put it down, that makes you want to stay up late and finish it to see what happens. Like that's the best feeling and you just have to find the right book for that. And I, thank God, found that with Akatar and it just opened a world of so many other opportunities and people to meet and books to read and authors to discover and it's just an amazing, amazing little world. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? So. Um, I actually don't have any favorite booktubers. I don't follow or subscribe to anyone on here that's in booktube. I haven't had time to sit down and look up some channels, so if you have any recommendations or you yourself are a bookish channel, please comment down below so I can subscribe to you. I would love to check out your content. I have watched like some bookbinding videos when I first started and I subscribed to that girl's channel because she made really cool like crafty book videos. But that's it and I don't even remember the name to her channel. So yeah, if you know any good bookish channels, please comment them down below. Comment your favorite ones because I would love to check them out. Question number seven. What challenges will be the hardest with booktube? Um, I think the hardest is just keeping up to a schedule which is right now why I don't have a schedule. I am going to try and post like once a week or once every two weeks at the very least, but you know sometimes life happens and I can't. So I don't have a schedule right now. I would like to make one eventually once I kind of get into the groove of things again, figure out my rhythm. So right now I'm kind of just posting when I want, when I have ideas, when I have actual content to film, but so far so good. I have a list of things that I still need to film. Um, so get ready. <laughs> Number eight, when did you start reading? Um, I started reading in, I believe it was April. Yeah, it was April of 2023. That is when I picked up Akatar. Um, I downloaded it on my Kindle or I bought it on my Kindle. It was all over TikTok. And I really can't remember what it was that threw me over the edge because I kept hearing about it. I kept seeing it and I was like, okay, I don't like books. Like I'm not gonna read this. But then I think just the last time I saw something about it, I was like, you know what, screw it. Cause like I said, I've always wanted to be into books. Like maybe this is a sign. I can't stop seeing it, like, let me just read it. It's gotta be good if everyone's talking about it this much. And then, of course, it was amazing. And I actually have only read the series once. I still have yet to reread it, and I am so excited to reread it. Um, I'm still not done with Throne of Glass. I'm still in the tandem read. I am, like, halfway done through the tandem read. I'm just kind of on a break with Throne of Glass right now because I feel like I've been reading it for so long and I have just gotten so many books in the last like month that I want to read. So I kind of just took a pause and I've been reading other books in between. But yeah, I'll still pick them up. Like the other day I picked up Tower Dawn and read a few chapters. I just I just needed a little bit of a break. Okay? She's still amazing. She's still perfect. Ooh, question number nine is where do you read? So my favorite place to read is actually in this room. I will put in some footage right now of my um, cute little reading room my little reading corner that I have. I turned my office into a little reading room. So I have my small bookshelf in here with all of my favorite books, my rebound books. And then I have my favorite comfiest chair ever that I love to sit and read in. That chair is so comfy, you guys, it's ridiculous. If you are interested in it, it's just on Amazon. And same with like everything else in here. My desk chair is from Amazon, my shelf is from Amazon. Yeah, this is where I read the most. And then the second place would be just my couch downstairs. <laughs> this room is definitely the best because I got lights in here, I got the music, I've got every type of vibe you could think of in here and it's the best, like I never want to leave this room. Okay, and last but not least, what kind of books do you read? Um, I mostly read fantasy. Like I said earlier, that's what got me into reading was that genre. Um, mostly fantasy romance, but really just fantasy in general. I also um, recently gotten into like sci-fi dystopia. I really do love that, like Red Rising, Dune type of vibe. Romance in general, it doesn't have to be fantasy. Thrillers, I just recently got into those. I haven't read many, but I really do like them. If you have any good thriller or like paranormal, any type of thing like that, 
Um, recommendations, please comment them down below because I am looking for a good one. But yeah, mostly I read fantasy. That is my favorite genre. I love just pretending that this world doesn't exist and that dragons and witches and all of those things actually do exist because they should. It's not fair that they don't. They, they, they do. They do. Okay guys, that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little kind of get to know me introduction to my channel. I probably should have done this first before I did my showing you all my rebinds video, but whatever. So yeah, comment down below what else you guys want to see from me. Um, whether that be reviews, bookbinding, even if it's not about books. I'll still be doing some like regular lifestyle videos here and there. Like it's not all going to be about books. But yeah, I think that's all. I am so excited to be here. Thank you guys for watching and stopping by make sure you subscribe uh, check out my book talk because i am posting on there honestly too much like tiktok should probably ban me from posting for a few days so yeah that is it i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching